yeah. he's probably just like, you did good. <laughs> yeah, no, he's actually super, super nice. But uh, yeah, it's just <laughs> funny to think that he's like roasting her. Yeah. It's really funny. SD used to occasionally bring his girlfriend to tournaments, and they'd play teams. Right. And SD's like one of the nicest people, but he's also extremely competitive. And so he'd be like carrying ultra hard. Like they'd make it to like top three sometimes. Yeah. He would like this was when like he would just double shine and people would die. Like he was just so much faster than everybody else, and he's just you run over everyone with tech skill. So he's just like two v oneing. She's like floating around his peach, <laughs> just occasionally like hitting somebody or just Sick. throwing a turn up or something. And um, you could see, like, when they would lose in top three or whatever, <laughs> that he'd just be like, it's all right, Jenny. It's okay. <laughs> that he's just tilted out of his brain. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's not your fault. <laughs> yeah. You tried. That's yeah. all that counts. <laughs> but sometimes he'd just be like, oh, yeah, get, go for that. <laughs> Jeez. Like, get the edge guard. Yeah, yeah. Grab the ledge. Come and on. Because, like, she would sometimes, like, before the tournament they would play for a night or whatever and he'd be like we practiced this like we gotta <laughs> get it oh, that's and nice. occasionally she would actually come through with like what they'd practice that's sick but yeah that's such a fun like project to like try to win doubles with your girlfriend I don't know like not anymore obviously yeah it's <laughs> like back in the in the dark ages oh 100% that would have been, been a fun fucking time fucking sick back then yeah like if you were technical enough or like, just had enough spacing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now it's like, ah, Saw is on the other team. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here we got Kai and Kaelin vs MSJ and Zai. We got a classic Goku vs Goku vs Vegeta vs Vegeta matchup. I like, right now. I like this doubles matchup. I like Four Foxes better though. Really? Yeah. Big fan of four foxes. I throw them off, Sora and Insta shines them. Yeah. I can see why you would like that. It does seem like something you would like. It's the most honest melee. It is. It's the truest and most honest. I don't know, Falco in the mix definitely makes it. If, they, if you both have a Falco, it's pretty fun. I like fighting Fox right now. Yeah. I think Falco's job in teams is really hard, man. I think Falco might actually be the, like... Falco or Martha is the hardest character in teams, but... Well, at least, like, of the good ones. With Martha, it's more obvious, though. What, like, with Falco, there's so many ways you can be helpful that it's easy to choose the wrong thing. Yeah, so I agree. Martha's just, like, so helpless in a lot of situations, but also very useful in a lot of situations. Yeah, yeah, he's a completely different character in teams. Martha's the most changed character in teams. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. He has to aerial a lot more, like, just put out a lot more hitboxes. He has to shield as well. Like, yeah. Another really good thing if you have a Martha on your team is, like, play a, sh like, a, I do a lot of run-up shield, and then you can tip it through the shield. Oh, shit. So it, like, protects Marth from any retribution for swinging. Yeah. That's a sick idea. It's really good. Marth is, like, probably the most big brain character in doubles. Yeah. No wonder I hate doubles. It's just a different <laughs> kind of game, you know? Yeah. Like, if you spend your whole life, none of his setups in singles, like, carry over. And yeah, none yeah. of what makes him good in singles carry over. You have to give up so many advantageous positions. Yeah, it's like my whole skill set is, like, the opposite of what would make Moth good at doubles. You'd think Spud would be really good at doubles, right? Because he's, like, really good at just, like, cleaning up weird kills and, like, yeah. being off stage. But he's actually struggles as well. Yeah, it's just hard, man. Fox just has like a lot of freedom to like Fox enter into any situation. He's pretty supreme in doubles. Yeah. I'd say winning without a Fox on your team is pretty pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, although, it's like all of his weaknesses are like so mitigated. I think by that Shin Peach is one of the best doubles teams, and you don't need Fox in that team. Yeah, I agree. But even then, like, Armada in his team would often, like, switch to Fox when, like, Double Fox is wrecked and Cheek Peach and, like, do way better with Fox. It's very hard to wreck Cheek Peach, though. Yeah, it's, like, more of an execution death type of good than, like, Double Fox. The thing is, they can bail each other out as well. Yeah. So. Anyway, Kai and Kaelin taking that one. They've actually done reasonably well for what I've expected. 
Yeah. I'd like to see them make it to uh, Grands, potentially. I think Kami and Dadlux are pretty uh, likely to make it. I think Kami and Dadlux are going to play a slower style. Well, they just go for, like, hard edge guards. Yeah. In terms of Surrey. Kid closes out stops. Yeah. Like, they both have such a, like, get the kill now type of playstyle in singles. It just carries over so easily to doubles. Yeah, and that, the thing about that playstyle in doubles is it's almost not even cheesy a lot of the time. Yeah. You gotta, like, get the kill. You gotta go for that big movie. Because if you go for, like, the long protracted guaranteed stuff, it doesn't work. Yeah, exactly. But also, like, your teammate can bail you out of, like, what would actually be, like, if you miss this edge guard, it would be horrible, right? Yeah. Your teammate just comes and bails you out. It's like why me and Sora go super deep for shines. It's like, because I know he'll, he'll keep the ledge for me. I'm not going to get edge guard if you're going for that. If yeah. he's still on stage. Yeah, right. So you can get way more wild off stage, which is one thing I really like about doubles. So the Kami Shine is like buffed. No, what you do with the Kami Shine is you back throw him and then wave dash the ledge and then the other guy waits for their option. Because now we're playing a scenario where it's like you have to start an up B or side B onto stage. Yeah, sick. And if they start their up B, Sora just reacts and goes out there. And Armada shines him. So you don't try to finish it right there. Yeah. What I'm most impressed by in good doubles play is like the ability to like burst move to the right position on reaction. Yeah. Because like my movement is like good in singles, but it's good in a way that it's like set up to be good. Like I I like know where I'm going in advance. But the thing is like we just know that there's never gonna be like a traffic jam. Like we have a, a flow chart that applies to situations like he's never gonna wave dash the ledge in a spot where I think it's my ledge. Yeah. You know? And when you start playing with someone new in doubles, there's all of this time of like, you're both like, it, it's almost, you know when you've learned something new in singles and it, it's for a while, you implement it and it doesn't work and it's bad? That's what happens like when you both try to go to ledge or whatever in doubles. Yeah. So it's easy to just play two separate 1v1s and kind of try to chase. What do you think about, so like Zai picked Falco and Jordy picked Ganon. I don't fully understand why Zai changed from Fox for this. Ganon's pretty good in doubles, man. I mean, Zai switched from Fox to Falco to go with Ganon. Maybe it was two unrelated causes. Yeah, perhaps. Also, maybe Ganon is getting these big hits they're going to set up dunks. Maybe that's the plan. Yeah. Kaylin's played enough doubles with me and Joshi to know to just stand there and cut it out. Yeah. Yep. That was really good from Kai to edge guard with the uh, like auto cancel back air. He caught the side B like really cleanly. Yeah. That's a tough reaction. Uh, you could drop to ledge afterwards as well if you auto cancel on the ledge. Yeah. That's actually fucked how many options that covers, man. Like when you um. Yeah, same with like the moth, uh, like down air edge cancel to grab ledge. Or, like, yeah, the that's nuts, nice, dude. Grab ledge. Ready? Yeah. If they go low, you just drop down and forward it again. Yeah. Option coverage is good. It's pretty high. Truly. In doubles, you can cover all the options truly, really, like, clean. Like, doubles is all about knowing when to bail the other guy out. I love how there's, like... Two completely contradictory styles of hype, which is like the hard read that only covers one thing and the sick option coverage. And I they're both like equally coverage. hype. <laughs> uh, but option coverage is hype and so much better. Yeah. I mean, sometimes a hard read can be good. Uh, hard reads are good in situations where it's not possible to kill with option coverage. Yeah. Jordy is just standing in center stage and up airing, and so far it's having pretty good results. Yep. He's just like a windmill. He's got big, He's like a stage big hazard. legs, you know? Yeah. If you're doing that in center, once once Ganon doesn't have center though, it's, it's rough. Yeah. He's like, what's he gonna do now? He's just getting kicked. It actually takes Ganon so long to set up a forward air. Yeah. Ganon is a very sluggish man. If Jordy just like jumped up, double jumped, wave landed back, and like finally got his forward air out. It's like, alright. No one is anywhere near you anymore. But like, cool. 
But if they were, though. Yeah. I like that Geordie tried to save Kalen with a palm there. When I was a kid, I thought palm was broken. You mean like the Ganon? The Ganon jab. Ah. Yeah, it actually is really good. It's like one of his best moves by far. 100%, yeah. Probably the best jab in the game. You're actually a smart kid. Every other kid thought that Roy's ass match would work. Whereas Ganon's jab is actually nuts. It is. I think it's probably the best jab in the game. I don't know, like, she can fuck some pretty good jabs. This one, like, spikes you, dude. And it comes out in, I don't know how, how fast, but extremely yeah. fast. Oh no, Jordy. I can't get hit by that. I think even if you crouch cancel it, the electric property slides you away. Yeah, exactly. Sora! I don't think we're playing for ages. I think we have a long wait, pal. No, oh. no. They're playing like... Oh, oh really? Freak yeah. Yeah, I thought there was like more losers to play. Kai said there was more losers to play, but... They play winners then semis, right? Okay. I'm cool with that. Down to clown. See you on the other end, stream. Uh, good commentating with you, Donny. Oh, your boy is fading fast. <laughs>